hi everyone um welcome to my channel now in today's video we're going to look at how to create a mac os server using amazon ec2 instance okay you first click on launch instance in your aws account let's call it mac os server for the ami it is mac os i'll go with Mac OS Monterey and if you check the instances you see that T2 micro T2 medium most of these are active for Ubuntu but for Mac OS you only have the option of choosing the metal which is a bare metal now this is basically a Mac mini that AWS um, dedicates to you through the dedicated host program okay we talk more about that later but you choose that then i'm gonna create a new keeper let's call it then you create a keeper and you see that that's selected over there keep the network settings as it is and then mac mac one um metal bare metal is comes with 100 gigabytes of um storage take for instance your setting up on the Ubuntu instance after going through these few steps you would click launch instance and it will start launching right but for Mac if you click on launch instance it will not and that, that's what we're gonna look at next exactly so if you click launch instance it shows an error here it says the selected instance type must be launched onto a dedicated host to continue choose a dedicated host that has been allocated for this instance type okay so we have to choose a dedicated host if you have one already or if you don't you have to create a new dedicated host for yourself right okay so to do that come to the left panel you see dedicated host right here let's open it in a new browser <coughs> Okay, so this is an old one that I used that I've released so far. So there is no dedicated host running right now. So let's create one. Allocate dedicated host. I'm gonna call it um, Mac Metal Dedicated Host. Okay, instance family. So these are all the family of service that AWS produces, but because for Mac, we don't have access to all the other um, instance families apart from the metal, just pick Mac 1, okay, and then the instance type is going to be Mac 1 metal. Now this has 12 CPUs and 32 gig of memory. So select that and then you have to select an availability zone. Now, a lot of times, not all the availability zones are available, so you pick the one that's available. I'll just pick, let's say, East, US East 1B. This is optional. Um, host maintenance, not really. Let's keep it like that, and then click Allocate. Now, when I click Allocate, it says, your request for this is not supported in your requested availability zone 1b so 1b is not available but i can choose 1c or 1d let's try with it 1c you know let's go with 1d instead and let's see if it works all right so 1d works now this is going to take a lower to be available yeah it's available now so state equals available this is our new dedicated host okay and this is the host id all right okay now let's go back to launching our instance so over here i'm gonna select dedicated host right here and then targets i'm gonna use host id okay remember this is our host id so you select 
the dedicated host based on that and then the host id should appear here okay so it's it ends in 3434c1 that's exactly what you see here 3434c1 so this is the dedicated host okay now for the other stuff you can keep it at default settings for the rest it's not really necessary but if you want to make changes that's also fine okay now with that now we can click launch instance see if you get any errors you can fix it if not your server will start launching okay so that was a success and our server is running okay so this is mac os server and it's initializing okay now if you check on some of the properties here of course this is our keeper um so ip addresses remember the dedicated host we picked us east 1d so that would be the same az as the server and it's mark one metal okay it's running but still initializing okay let's look at security okay so if you check the inbound rules port 22 is allowed which is ssh port and then for the outbound rules it's allowed everywhere all ports and protocols are allowed okay so let's try and see if you can connect to it via ssh okay let's select our server click connect now pull up a new terminal keep it right here and remember whenever you set up a EC2 instance it a lot of the time it downloads the key pair into the downloads folder okay so let's see and our keeper is mac key july that's our keeper right there right ssh dash i and the keeper july ec2 dash user at the ip address this is the public ip enter Connection refused. Um, let's see. Sometimes the permissions on the um, the keeper file is not executable, so let's change that with ch mode four hundred, and then let's try it again. Okay. And so this is yes. Voila, so <coughs> we are in our EC2 server now. This is EC2 Mac OS Monterey 12.7.5. Okay, so that's a success. So, LS, you can write all the commands that you know on Linux. So, that's how you would um, set up a Mac OS server on AWS using Amazon EC2. Please leave your comments down below, like and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thank you.